All right. Well, the kids and I say uh, we hope everybody had a great Halloween um, and a happy Samhain, a blessed Samhain. And uh, now on with the show. That was just my little fall thing there, I think. And anyway, there you go. Yeah, you, 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 that butch, that's, oh crap, you're like really, really far away. Where is the butch when I need her? I cannot get the leg of this tripod up, okay? Yeah, and yes. Mom! I am all out of WD-40. Damn. Where is that butch when I need her? Hmm. It'll be all right. I'll figure it out. I promise. Hey, everybody. It's Lady J again. Um, when I was just playing with my equipment here and trying to, you know, see some lighting and things, I got my old Kodak out and there we are. But um, I was just trying to see how it looks. So let me know. Let me know if the volume is good. Let me know what's going on with you. You know, I've been waiting for the next instructional video from Hart because uh, she was going to do that. But, you know, she has had some issues. No, Hart never has issues. It must be Michelle A's problem. Anyways, Earl Hart's a really good videographer. And um, so if you ever really, you know, want to see some funny stuff, go to Heartbeat. Right there. That, that would be YouTube, Heartbeat. Or Queered. Um, she uses both of those names. So go, go ahead and go there. And I'll see what... Um, I have been on the computer all day. Have you ever had one of those days? I mean, it's a really good thing I'm not back to work yet. Um, have you ever had a day when you are simply, can I get off the computer? I mean, maybe not, but <laughs> I mean, every time you turn around, somebody is messaging you or whatever, and you just, you really, you don't want to be rude, and you don't want to say you want to get off, um, and you have to have that certain comfort level with certain people to do that, but all day, all day, certain things have come up. Now, I have a friend who is across the Atlantic Ocean in Spain. Hello, Peggy, giving the shout out to Peggy. And every time that she watched one of mainly Butch's videos, mainly Butch, she had to tell me about it. I love you, Peg. I really, truly love you. And among other things that we so frequently discuss, good things. Which brings me to the target of this discussion. All right. She says that we fems, okay, so all you fems out there, yeah, all you, you, I see you. I see you. You are not invisible. You're a fem and you're out there. Yeah, you, speak up. I want to know if you agree that we just simply cannot call our butch friends, buddy. No, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, that that was it. That that was that was the other thing. Can butches and femmes really even be friends? Ah, uh, yeah. Well, it is a little hard in some instances, but I think they can. Anyways, you get the gist of that. So that was a big one. And every time I called her buddy, she just blew a head gasket because that's a term only reserved for you butches out there. And yes, I know you're listening to, to call each other. I, I just don't get that. She told me she would send me the handbook later. You know, I, I don't know how much later, but I've known her for 40 years. You would think I would already have the handbook. Hell, people my age wrote the handbook. 
But anyway, let me know what you think. And I'm serious. All you femmes out there, it's not just about nails or hair. All right. So I did it. And not just any butch. It has to be that special, special butch. More specifically, my butch. Just don't tell me. I hate being so mean. And please remember, don't ever wake me up before 9 o'clock because you never really know what will happen if you do. So as I always say, whoever you are, wherever you are, I love you right where you're at. I'm out of here.